Hello, this is Chris with Elevations. So I've got two of these B-Link mini computers. I recently did an unboxing of one of them, but I have a chance here to look at an X and a J series next to each other, and I thought it'd be interesting to show everybody out there. Uh, so as I had mentioned, there's the X series and the J series, obviously both from B-Link. Packaging is quite the same. Everything on the outside is basically the same. We haven't opened up these uh, yet. However, I did, like I mentioned, do an unboxing on the J. The X does have some higher specifications, so I'm going to take a look at that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, just so we can see this without so much of a glare, is take this packaging off. So as you can see from the other box, uh, it did not come with the plastic wrap packaging on it. It looks like from Amazon uh, it did have the plastic removed. It looks like that might have been a returned item. Uh, it does not look like the packaging was damaged or anything. Uh, we'll see once we open up what it actually looks like and if maybe somebody put, that, put things back properly. I can only guess it was a purchase on accident. However, it did end up being a decent amount off. Now, speaking of Amazon, you'll be able to see down below, there should be some Amazon affiliate links for these items. And I'd appreciate if you are interested in these, if you would take a look at that affiliate link. It does not change your price. However, it does help us with a little bit of kickback for doing these videos. So just on the note here, on the outside, it notes the uh, mini PC, Windows 10, 64-bit, Wi-Fi, gigabit, ethernet, uh, and it is fanned. Now I have used these things that do not have a rotational fan for cooling. I honestly do not like that. Uh, the audio of the fan or, the, or how loud it is doesn't really seem to make that big of a difference to me. And the reliability of keeping your system cool is certainly well worth it. So now that I have the packaging off here, let's flip this over and take a look at some, on the comparison. Now, as I mentioned, it does have that uh, Amazon used on there. It is a great way to save a few dollars if you're using it for yourself or you're uh, a little bit more cost sensitive. So let's take a look at this. Um, so the Gemini X specifications. So you notice here we have a X45 and then we have the X55. There's a couple different breakdowns with these particular series. This one, as you can see by the check mark here, we do have the X55. Now that's eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig hard drive. Now that is a solid state hard drive. That's a really big benefit for these smaller systems to not have to worry about the uh, speed issues with a rotational hard drive. Now, if you look here on the J series, notice we do have the uh, J series. Uh, this should be the J34. Now that will be the eight gigs of RAM and 128 gig solid state hard drive. So again, we do have a solid state hard drive here as well. Uh, so those specifications, the biggest differences when we're looking at these systems is you wanna look at how much RAM you have and what your internal uh, storage is. As I mentioned, these are both solid state, so that's really big benefit as far as your speed. Uh, nowadays for your primary hard drive to be solid state is a pretty decent standard. And if you do go with a rotational hard drive, you will certainly have a performance impact. Uh, that's the biggest benefit on this is it does have 256 gig solid state built right into this system. Uh, the downfall I've seen with a lot of these smaller systems is they try to go with a smaller hard drive, even if it is solid state, but then you have an issue with storage space running out, especially since we start doing uh, Windows updates and the like. If you only have, say, 28 gigs or even 40 gigs on your hard drive in your internal, you start running into a lot of issues when you're running those Windows updates. So let's go ahead and start opening these guys up. Uh, as you can see, everything else on the packaging and the bottom, it does indicate all the specifications, the uh, ports and the like, and they are quite a bit similar uh, between the two different series here, between the X and the J's. Um, just to read it off here, as I mentioned earlier, it does have the 802.11 uh, B, G, N, and AC. Now, that's a really big benefit here, having the AC with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, bands, so that gives you the faster wireless throughput. Now, it does have, if you want to, that full gigabit LAN connection, so you do have that capability. Uh, depending on what you're using it for, however, the wireless AC, if you can make use of the AC versus gigabit, uh, depending on what you're using it for, you might not really see a difference, although having it hardwired is a big benefit. It is certainly not necessary when you have AC. Uh, as far as interfaces and buttons and the like, it just has the power button in the front, which is really nice to have. USB 3.0, it does have uh, four USB 3.0 ports, dual HDMI's. Now this is a really big benefit, and this is gonna be used for a 
uh, probably a CNC machines, and then we're going to be using it. Uh, the other one, actually the J series, is going to be going out for a video surveillance and weather monitoring system. So on one monitor, we're going to have a 32-inch 1080p screen, and that's going to be giving us some information about the security cameras that we have around the facility that we're installing it at. And then the other screen is basically going to be streaming uh, either just NOAA data for weather information for a marina, or it'll be a weather channel. So that's going to be user dependent on what that person might want to have. And the next thing we have here, as I had mentioned previously, is that gigabit LAN. Then we have a card reader, the TF card reader, if you do choose to use that. Now there's a benefit if you do want to have some extra storage, you can use that card reader for that extra storage or use those 3.0 uh, USB ports. Then you just have the DC in, so that is a DC input jack, audio jack, so you do have the capability of actually plugging speakers or a headset directly into that. And then it also includes your AC to DC adapter. Note, this is pretty nice. That AC to DC adapter does allow that 100 to 240 volt alternating current coming in and it'll output that 12 volt direct current and two amps. Uh, so now that I have the tape taken off here, let's open up the X-Series first. So this is going to be the higher spec system. Uh, pulling that right out, if you notice right here, obviously, since it, even though it was used from Amazon or open box, it still does have all the sealing on it. So I'm just going to open this right up here. This is the accessory pack. So this is basically all the stuff that is included within this package. Uh, the first thing I'm going to pull out here is going to be your HDMI cable. And what we've seen previously with these unboxings is on the J-Series, it does come with two HDMI cables. One of them is a little bit longer, while the other one is shorter. Now what that's used for is you have the uh, B-Link mini computer itself has a Visa mount directly on it, so you can mount it on the back of the screen. And then you'll use that, that shorter HDMI cable to go directly to the one that you're mounted to, and then this longer one to the one that you're not mounted to since it does have that dual HDMI. I'm going to stretch this guy out here. I would say it's about a three foot. I'm not entirely positive right off the top of my head, but it, is a, it looks like a three foot HDMI cable. Yep, standard HDMI. Next we have the power brick. So this is where I had mentioned that does give you that alternating current to direct current conversion. These systems, it's one of the things that they do to uh, allow that smaller space as you do that alternating current to direct current conversion on the outside of the box with this wall wart as opposed to an internal power supply like you have in a full size computer that you do AC directly into it and the power supply inside does that step down and, and change over. Now just double check here, yes this one just like the J series does do the 100 to 240 volt uh, alternating current input. It looks like max draw is only about 0.65 amperage input. And then your output here is that 12 volt at 2 amp. And then here we have the mounting hardware. And then I ha as I had mentioned earlier, as you do have that shorter HDMI cable that's also included. And I would say this is probably about a foot long overall. So this is the one that's going to be the closest screen to you. And then here included is that VSIM mount. So this does give you the capability, if you would like, to mount it directly to the back of the screen, directly to the back of the monitor, depending on what you're doing. Now, one thing that's also kind of nice with these units, keep in mind, I did say it does have HDMI 3.0. So what that gives you the capability of doing is a full 1080p extra monitor over USB. You can do multiple extra monitors over USB since it does have multiple 3.0 ports. If you wanted to, for example, you could even use this system, this itty bitty little system for a four monitor output. Really nice for uh, pretty streamlined computation there. Okay, so this actually is the unit itself. Open up the packaging here. It is a quite small little guy here. I do very much enjoy and appreciate uh, the structural stability of this casing. Now, it's a small unit. It's not very expensive. Uh, the top here is a plastic, but the outside, the bottom, all the way around the perimeter, these, this is the, here is all metal. This is really nice. I certainly appreciate the uh, attention to the detail, uh, the streamlines, the nice corners here. Everything about these cases are very, very nice. Now, here, as I mentioned, the front has that USB 3.0, then you have a headset jack, and then you have the power button right there. This is really nice to have if you're gonna have it on a desktop situation or even on a shelf by where your monitor is. Having that power plug on the front as well as the USB ports right there on the front makes things quite convenient. And then here on the back, 
you have two more USB 3.0s. Then we have that full gigabit LAN. And then two more HDMI ports as well as your uh, DC input jack. You do have that locking port if you wish to use that. And then here on the side is your card reader. So that's everything for the X series. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up here just a little bit and we'll take a look at the J series. Flip this guy upside down. Now this is quite similar to a recent uh, item that we just did an unboxing all by itself. The only difference, however, is um, I think we had a little bit different on the RAM and then this one is a full brand new system. Uh, the previous J series that we put in was for a doctor's office that was actually used as a digital display system so they can do some different marketing on that screen and these are really great for those. So again, this one includes that Visa mount. And then we should have the same HDMI cable. So we've got that longer one. And then if we pull out the slightly smaller one. So the same kind of setup there, packaging is quite similar. And then you have your power brick. Now if we look at the other power brick that came with the X series, they are the same exact power brick. So again, the only real difference here is the with the J series versus the X series is that higher internal specifications. That is the mounting hardware. And I'm just gonna pull out that little mounting hardware box. And then we actually have the system itself. So this is the B-Link J series. Now in comparison, let's take a look here. So you have on the front, you have the USB 3.0. You have another USB port here, but this is the, uh, with the lightning bolt here, that should be your full power port. So you have the capability of doing, uh, pulling power off of that, even if the system is not on. Uh, again, the same quality on the casing. Everything here is, is basically the same as far as the setup, the actual interface ports or the IO parts. They are in the same locations. If we look at these, uh, say top to bottom and side to side, these are quite similar, nearly identical. With the J-Series, let's flip it over here again. So we have the card reader. And on the rear, let's take a look at the rear side to side. So you have the same thing with that dual USB 3.0, full gigabit port, and the dual HDMI, as well as your power, and then your locking port as well. So you certainly have the exact same I.O. on that one. The only difference is the J-Series does have that 128 gig option versus the 256 on the other one. I'll come back and reference this uh, here we have that 8 gig with the J34, 8 gig on 128. Now you can make the decision on the J34 series to move up to the 8 gig to 256. There's a lot of different options as well as the 8 gig to 512. Um, one thing that's quite beneficial that I haven't actually opened up is supposedly there is a standard serial ATA input on the inside of this for the actual motherboard itself. So looking at the bottom, I wanna compare the J and the X's side by side. It looks like we have a little bit more silver on this side versus a little bit more black on this side. And I'm gonna read off the actual model here. So on the right hand side of the J series, we have the Gemini J34-A-8128JDOW64PRO-D8. So it's going to be that 64-bit on the internal. That's very uh, convenient for a lot of our modern computational programs. On the left-hand side of the X series, we have the Gemini X55-E-8256IDOW64. Again, this is the model Gemini X, and this is the B-Link J34. So slight differences, as I had mentioned, we just have that more internal storage on that system. And this is a pretty good side to side ranking as far as I'm concerned with what we have here. The only big difference, as I had mentioned, is that difference for the internal storage. That may or may not be an issue for you, but these are certainly uh, good units to have if that's something that you need to have for a small computational system. My name is Chris with Elevations. I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching.